Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that if you have any issues in your cars or trucks this power steering system you should to look this my video because now we are talking in issues with electric electric power steering system and I will next show that how this electric power steering works and what are these possible defect areas in your car or truck or shoe. Okay, firstly, when we are driving in our car, in that, like in my case, this is now in Toyota car, we, 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 we don't know that how this our steering, power steering, electric power steering works, but next I will explain. We have to take first the central part away, and then we have the steering wheel, and there is hole in inside. And this hole goes in the steering shaft and axle. And this part, that hole, belongs in this area, in here, and when we rotate that our steering wheel, then this we can see in here. This another part moves also. Very nice engineering. And then when I take that away, there is not specific nut in here, but keeps this in position. And when we are moving our steering wheel, then that another part where is this power electric power steering's main parts in here main parts in here and these main parts are firstly this shaft what is in inside in here and we can take that away and we might have worn out in this gear and also in that gear and then it means that we have to replace that soft part. And then there are specific step motor, what this black part, what measures this our steering wheel movement. And it sends data, an electric bit, for this power steering computer. Can you believe? Here is more laptop what measures and calculates that what is our steering wheel's position and how much power this our car or truck or shoe needs. And this is really like computer, small laptop computer. And this part, there are cable slots and this part sends data in here. And also the most important part, there is big, big electric motor. This is heavy. It is like similar size than start motor and starter in cars. And this part belongs in this another shaft in here, in that way. And this yellow golden part is this electric power steering systems, this power source. This part makes this be easier power that our steering wheel is easy to rotate because when we move our steering wheel then this part in here it understands that now steering wheel is moving and when this part belongs in inside in here it sends information to this car power steering computer and this part can to be also broken and we have to purchase new power steering computer. There is circuit board inside and some companies and specialists can repair this sometimes but when this is workable, this computer calculates that now we need force 
And this yellow part, this electric motor, it generates force using our car battery plus and minus cut plus and minus cables and very thick. And this means that this part needs a lot of power, like starter and start motor. And this weighs about five pounds or more. This is heavy. And this part moves this part in here and it sends power in this shaft in here and when this part moves we can see that this inner part in here moves in the same way and in that way this electric power steering works and also these possible defect areas are like in repeat firstly are these mechanical shafts and then of course this small shaft there is bearing inside and in here we have second small circuit board computer I take this cover away and and then this big defect area can be this electric power steering motor this engine and also we might have issue in this our cars power steering this computer this is also and also it's good to check fuses and relays and using and checking all of these cars then this our power steering system will work well and remember that sometimes these cables they can also be to burn out or cut but normally when all parts are okay this electric power steering works well okay thank you my friend and see you in next movie